India is countering China not just on its borders but all across the world as it makes the push to achieve its ambitious economic goals and resource rich african countries could play a crucial role in helping india achieve its goals over the last 10 years india has increased lending to african countries as part of its overall strategy to counter china according to an economic times report india lent 42 african countries about 32 billion dollars over last 10 years this makes up 38% of all the credit lent by india to other countries and if you think it is excessive and what's the need to lend all this money to african countries consider this africa is a resource rich continent and for the last two decades china has taken a lead over every other country to strengthen its position investing in africa is important for india as they say in diplomacy and business timing is absolutely crucial what makes this the right time for india to pump its lending and investment activities in africa is the fact that china's loans to africa have dipped since 2016 and african countries are struggling after the pandemic and disruption of supply chains because of russia ukraine war this is an opportunity for india to push deeper into the continent that said india has quite some ground to cover if it wants to counter china's influence in africa over the last 10 years china has lent a massive sum of 134.6 billion dollars to african countries and as a consequence it can tap new centers of not just lithium supply but every other mineral it might need modi government has pushed for greater reach into africa since coming into power in the last 9 years 18 of the 25 new indian embassies or consulates were opened in africa in february india hosted 48 african countries at the voice of global south summit Prime Minister's recent visit to Egypt and his efforts to champion India as a representative of the global south on platforms like the G20 are all part of India's Africa outreach. Foreign Minister Jay Shankar recently said that India is trying to think 25 years from now and ask itself where is it likely to be in 2047 and what should we be doing now to prepare for it. And as India actively tries to find new suppliers of critical raw materials, there is no alternative to going head to head with the resource-hungry China.